Mugi and Andreo. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Long time no see. Mugi. Okay, you can see the movie uh, Hopper um, Sewer. And and Andreo, he play with crazy deck you know with the Goblin Hut. Baby, come here. Baby, come here. Come here. We have Mugi at the top of your screen. Uh, 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 it looks like a drill site with an Andreo at the bottom with a Goblin Hut. Most likely Goblin and Graveyard, but Goblin Hut so strong right now. Could be used in almost anything. Yeah, I I've been waiting to ask you. This okay. is actually uh, I had it written not down. A uh, quick. It, it was gonna be asked juicy about uh Goblin Hut. So Rascal well, what are your Poison. thoughts on Goblin Hut? Red specifically Gap. this Rascal's Goblin Hut graveyard deck. Do you think like it's broken? Do you think it, it, it's possible to lose okay. with it? Uh should we be seeing it in every single day? How do you feel about this Goblin Hut? You know, it's an interesting deck. I think it's really strong on ladder specifically, just because uh, Mighty Miner. Overall, it is Mighty Miner. I don't think we've seen hmm? as much in CRL lately. Why not? Just because, Why not? Um, good players have good workarounds Why for it, and it, it's not as consistent as like cycle decks, in my opinion. It's a low to cool, man. When it comes to the Goblin Light, you know, I think it is a very, very strong card right now. Obviously, the Goblin itself got a little bit of buff not too long ago. But then the spear gobs got the buff, and that really is what changed it here. Because now in Real. It's not the hot. is at one HP, maybe because of like a poison tick or an earthquake tick, they will actually still get hits on that top. Uh. Um, which just forces out so much elixir hey, hey. throughout the match. And uh, that's why we've seen hey, such a resurgence in usage for the card. That's right, just an extra 200 chip damage every single time going down the lane. It's just so brutal, so, so just constricting to how this meta is. So right here, 44 seconds left, Drill going against Rascal's Graveyard. And I would assume this matchup, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but how do you think this matchup is? Do you think it's Drill side just because of how quickly it cycles? Uh, or do you think just the Rascal's Graveyard, it eventually overwhelms? You know, it's a great question, and I, wow, so there's a lot of things happening right now that uh, kind of changes that. You know, I saw the guards come out for Moogie, it's like, okay, this is great for Grave Rubber, but then I saw it hard to be able to whip out the arrows instead of the bar for both those guards. Overall, I would say most likely Audrill has this matchup, just because without the guards, like if you arrows the guards every time, Moogie can struggle to defend these Grave Rubbers. Um, he's doing great and so really, he, he, he really like using the, the, the defense, play the up uh, and so, I mean, this is a surprise for uh, old pro player. Drill, he's dropped that skeleton king down and um, continue out through the match. Yeah, and right there, I feel like that was kind of unlucky for Mookie. I feel like. A lot of the skeletons just kind of locked onto the tower. The guards were placed correctly, but at the same time, three of the skeletons spawned on the left side, and the guards didn't touch any of them. So that's a massive swing in Adriel's way. But at the end of the day, Mugi is no. Just kidding. I, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. That was a that was a pretty bad swing. For some reason, I was reading it as if Adriel wasn't in the lead, but uh, I think it's pretty clear that he, he's up a he's up a little bit. Yeah, Adriel. Getting that very nice damage lead with the graveyard. That's the thing about the graveyard, guys. The only card in Clash Royale is completely reliant on RNG, meaning random number generator. Those skeletons can spawn anywhere in the radius. So and really, he got an arrow, so that's why. Like yeah. Josh said, and those skeletons spawn on the movie. He cannot uh, cycle. He cannot keep a no gas for defense. Wake right up! It's right there. I love what Mookie's doing with the offset bomb towers. He's placing it off to the side because he just wants to worry about the Goblin Hut. That is how constricting it is overall. Right there, great offense. He takes the lead and the Musketeer high. I, I love these Musketeer plays, uh, both from Mugi and Muhammad Light earlier. It just seems like they're getting so much more value than they're supposed to usually. I, I love how they're so much damage. And with 30 seconds left, he now storms back into the lead. 280 HP separating the two players and he has to get very aggressive here. Here comes the drill fireball. There's three card cycle activated with that mighty miner. Here comes a grave. If he will talk right now, I think it's better than real. Left. There's damage leak coming in from Audrey. Ten seconds left. Logs gonna come through here. Not gonna get the skeletons in poison. time. Poison drops. Drill. Last it's drill of the less. day. Can we see a pre fireball with it's this drill? It's too late. Sorry. Arrows go down. Goblin connects. Oh, with the first game. That's GG's Audrey. Oh, He's gonna take game one versus Moogie. I just, I was not sure. 
the the numbers were blocking it. I just could not tell Yo. if it was going to be a one HP game, game or where my level of excitement was supposed to be. But uh, 200 HP, that's still pretty close. I uh, I can get I, I I can still get excited for that. Yeah, it was a very close match. I think, like I said, Audrey had a good matchup. And going back, what I've been talking about him this entire day. You know, he's got the coach behind him. He's making good deck picks. Maybe Mugi has a higher overall skill level or talent level, but Audrio making some solid plays, staying calm, and he takes a very convincing W. Mugi and Audrio, game number two. Audrio using the Golden Knight plus the Common Cage. It's looking like it could be EU Giant. Technically, it still could be uh, Royal Hogs and. Uh, Roy Hawks, Moogie using Roy Hawk and I'm real electrical Zion. Good, go on and roll. You got it. Well. So, this is gonna be a fun deck. I always, I, it, I, it's, I, I think it's so over annoying 55%. as a deck overall, but as a commentator, so here, this giant skeleton Roy okay, Hawks mirror deck is my favorite deck in the world of commentators. It is so hectic, and as the game goes on, you just can't keep up with the action. And I love seeing that in, uh, in decks. Yeah, yeah God love me. I think that. I hope um, the he will see. He got a uh, he, he big mirror right now. Yeah. He, he, he picked mirror. Wow. It's gonna help him a lot. Yeah, crazy game. Really easy. Fisher boy. Well. Yeah, God, the Fisher oh, boy. God, the Fisher boy. Wait. Come Fisher on, come on, round this is. Damn it. No. 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 Wow, I, I, I hope that we can get a replay on that because no, that, what's wrong? I, so what happened right there? The tower was locked under the e and giant, will he, but then he as it was get getting some damage from it retargeted lightning. Oh. Tonight. That was a crazy interaction and so advantageous for Audrey. He gets the tower down to 1578. 54 seconds left, 300 HP separated the two players, and now Mugi is just going to continue to go giant skeleton, same lane. But it's such a problem for him. Just going E Giant Bridge, Tornado, and then Golden Knight is so yes, difficult. Yes, No, to stop. where's the bomber? Some damage, bomber. Plus bomber at the no, bridge, takes care no. Of the wow. Lines. Of those zappies in the Golden Damn. Knight dash makes the old way tower down to four seconds. Wrong for this, the zappies. Mistakes from Moogie and beautiful Wrong. plays from Audriel. At this point, he just has to have good defense. Okay, it's time. The tornadoes in the line. Time to let's say sorry. Yeah, and I always talk about how. Oh, you know, you gotta give yourself a chance. Uh, you gotta, you know, switch up your plays and game to just give yourself an opportunity. But when there's only seven seconds left and it's this late in the game. It's pretty clear that it's if you're switching like lanes, that this game is, you know, just it's technically over. Like it's so difficult at this point. You needed to switch it up Come earlier. On. But it, I, I, I think we don't have much up this with the match of Mesli and Mugi. This is just a really bad final. Or Mugi. He just can't do anything towards the top of his tornado. He's boy. Do let. Yeah, it's definitely a tough matchup. Time to say goodbye. Mistakes that were made. No, Audrey, I'll just capitalize on every single one of those. I'm so bad, so sad. Yeah, that was Good luck, Muji, on next ne right game. Hey, Muji, 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 Muji,